Today on the chopping block, yellowfin tuna caught by our very own. State your name, gangster. Down picture. He's a little shy for the camera. Y'all already know that though, okay? Here we go. It's nice and hot here on Guam, so we're gonna try and cut this down as fast as we can, try and beat the heat. Alright, here we go. Cutting right behind the collar from the tail, back up towards the collar. We're gonna go back inside, right against the bone, make sure we get our meat on top separate from the bone. Gonna come to the top portion again, right there on top of the head, place on it firmly inside. There's a fin here, you gotta try and get over it. If you try and in the middle of it, it's gonna get stuck. So right over it, there we go. Then we can ride the knife. Ride the, let the knife ride the bone all the way back. You went to the knife one time here, come back inside, make sure we're riding right along that bone, coming back, there we go. All right, we're gonna come right back to the tail part here. Make a nice incision there. Make sure we're getting under the meat on both sides, okay? So with tuna, some people I've seen, I used to do this before, they pretty much do like what I do with wahoo or mahi sometimes is they, they peel the skin, all right? Uh, there's a reason why I don't do that anymore. The, the skin, when you peel it, if you could see right here, it leaves these little fibers and I personally don't like that when I'm eating fish. It has kind of a fishy taste. I don't want to put a fishy taste in the dish I'm about to make. So what I'm going to do is cut it right off the bone. Same way you've seen me cut the onaga last time, if you guys caught that one. So I'm going to go in, make sure our knife's getting to the bone, just like that. All right, and right when we get inside good, we're going to place our knife firmly against the bone, angle it just a little and ride the bone straight up to the top. There we go. Check it out. Beautiful, clean filet. All right, let me do the other side real quick. All right, next, I'm gonna take the fish right off the skin. Same concept as the onaga. Now, like I said earlier, the reason why I prefer to do this is I don't want those little fibers on the meat that I'm gonna cook, so I'm gonna ride the knife right along the skin. You're gonna see a little meat just there. You might think it's a waste. Some people might still fry this, but for the dish I'm gonna make again today, I don't want any of those little fibers on it because I don't want it to taste fishy. I want it to be as clean as possible. So I'm gonna cut right here along the bloodline, angle my knife down again, and slide it right up. There you go. Five questions with Don Pedro Machiavelli Cruz. All right. What's your favorite color? Black and red. You have two favorite colors, okay. What's uh, your favorite type of fishing? Uh, that's hard one. If you had to choose one to do today, what would you want to do today? Bottom fishing. Bottom fishing. What's your favorite fish to eat? Uh, pelagic fish. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> What type of pelagic fish? What type of pelagic fish? Look at the camera fish. you're talking. There's a lot of them that I eat. I know, but what's, what's your, your favorite, favorite one to eat? Wahoo, tuna, marlin. They're all good. What's oh, your gosh. What's your favorite though to eat? I guess you're just if a you, typical if you fisherman. Have to pick one fish to eat, okay? Like, if dad said, all right, what fish do you guys want to eat today? What would be your favorite of all time? I'm going with tuna. Tuna? What all type right. of tuna? Yellowfin, bonita, dog tooth. Bonita. Bonita? Yep. Wow. I don't heard that. Hey. Do you prefer catamaran or monohull? Uh, Since we have both. Monohull is fun. The monohull is fun? Yeah, it's really good. I thought once you go cat, you don't go back. Right. <laughs> I'm just joking. When did you start fishing? Two months. Right? Two months? Yeah. When you were two months old? When you were in mommy's stomach? When did you start How fishing? Old were you How when old you were you? Fishing for dad? Do you remember? You were like two or three years old. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. remember that picture of you and the mahi? 
I'm gonna go ahead and put that here in this yeah. video so people can see how young you were. The right. chopping block and we'll catch up with Don Pepper Machiavelli again in a minute, all right? Gonna take our tuna right here, nicely wrapped in our- Bounty. Bounty paper towel. So bring it back here. And guess what? We're gonna make pokey again. Although this time we're just gonna make a traditional local or Japanese style pokey, if you will, with a little extra kick in it, all right? And look at those That's cuties Paisley. on the background. Paisley. Hi. What's your favorite type of dish to eat? How do you like us to make it? How do you like to eat it? Kelleguin. Kelleguin, that's your fave? Yeah. What's your favorite after that? The dish or? Yeah. Your, your tuna dish. What's your favorite all-time tuna dish to eat? Sashimi. Oh, maybe one day we got to do a catch and cook like you and Taylor and you guys cook for us as parents. What? Yeah, at Uncle Blaine's house. Yeah, you guys. What do you guys a, think? A Drop a comment. Do you think we should do that? I think that's a good idea. Don Pedro and Taylor does everything for a day. They're going to cook. They're going to catch the fish. They're going to drive the boat. Then we're going to go to Uncle Blaine's house and have a cookout. And you guys are going to be the ones to make us food. But yeah, I'm really liking that idea of of Taylor and Don Pedro catch and cook. Anyway, smash that like button. Let us know in the comments down below if you think that's a good idea. Don Pedro and Taylor, I'll take them out fishing again. If we get lucky and got some fish to bring home, we'll have them clean it and cook it for you, all right? All right, Don Pedro's gonna break this down into cubes for us because like I said, we're making pokey again. Here we go, here's your knife. Cutting up the fish for pokey, then we're gonna be putting it inside this Tupperware over here. All right, I don't know if you guys noticed by now, but my son's left-handed. Now he got that from his mom, because I'm right-handed, so teaching him a lot of different things, life skills have been quite challenging, but I'll tell you what, he's pretty damn good at everything he's doing, so. I think we're doing a good job teaching him, right son? Be careful when you're cutting that one press pull. All right guys, now that we got our ingredients all together, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First things first, onions, but you already knew that. I'm gonna break the onions apart. Onions are more for texture than flavor, I think. Uh, adds a little crunch in your meal, you know? You know what time it is. Got a nice flow of sesame oil going on. Got some secret sauce in there. Just a tad bit, okay? For all my locals living in the States, half a day. Check it out. It's always good to add a little spice in your life, right? It's the secret sesame seed seaweed combo. All right, we'll stir that up first. And then we'll put some more to top it. Now we're gonna add some masago or tobiko. What is this, Chrissy? Tobiko, I think. Tobiko, fish eggs. Roll, flying fish eggs. All right, now before I plate it, we're gonna get a taste test. So Chrissy, would you do the honors? Here sure. we go. That's too small, you gotta try again. Mm. Good. Some salt, pepper, Hot. Perfect. It's perfect. All right. That's... So, if you like to eat raw fish like this, uh, I suggest uh, Japanese rice crackers. Maybe your favorite, just plain sea salt potato chip, or the best, which we don't have here, but it would be the best, honestly. With this, would be a bed of sushi rice. 
here we go. Ocean the table, fresh yellowfin tuna poke. Alright, I hope you guys liked that video again. Make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe. You know what time it is. See you on the next one.